Joss Stone became a worldwide star aged just 16, but has admitted that she has been left in tears during her recent tour. The 37-year-old has had some of the busiest months of her life, as she balances being a mum to three-year-old Violet and baby Shackleto while touring across Europe and the US, admitting that there are two sides to being away from her young children. Admitting that being away from the Violet and Shackleto allows her to get some much-needed sleep in between gigs, she told Hello Magazine. They are at home in Nashville. I first went without them on my last trip to Europe, when I played the Royal Albert Hall so this is the second time, and I thought it was going to be really bad. But I can sleep when my babies are next to me and if I can sleep, I can sing. But, she did admit that being away from them did bring her two tears, so I was like. It's two weeks, let's do this. For the first week, I had tears in my eyes chatting to them and was a hormonal nightmare. But after a week, I realized Violet and Shaq are having so much fun, they are fine, the singer said. And the singer, who was born in Dover, Kent, but grew up in Devon, revealed that her and husband Cody D. A. Luz are planning to move back to the UK next year, admitting that they've been too far away from their wider family. She said, Next year, and I'm excited about it. Cody and I have been undecided about what's best, but I just want to be near my mum, that overrides everything. Time is precious and my children aren't growing up around their grandma, or their cousins, because we're too far away. I miss being in Devon, but I'm very nomadic. I've lived in lots of different places, and love making music so being in Nashville, is such a great place for me to live. But that's very selfish, so I feel guilty, I'm just there for me, even though my kids are super happy. We're not going to let go of our Tennessee spot, but we're going to give it our best shot in England and we'll see where our children thrive. And I'm sure it will be around family, and then we'll get a cow and chickens so they'll love it. The singer shot to fame at just 16 years old when she released her debut album Soul Sessions that saw her shortlisted for the Mercury Prize, and her stock has continued to rise ever since, with her second album shooting to the top of the UK charts a year later in 2004. Meanwhile, her single from the same album You Had Me reached the top 10, her highest placed position in the charts to date.